Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Magnum Martell, and it's been a little while, but today we're going to be talking about something actually related to gaming, for starters. I know I've been kind of off on that. It's There's just not been a lot going on, but then the big news hit! The big fucking news about Sony's new party chat policy and authoritarian values. Let's get right fucking into it, because I have shit to do today. So it began with this little image right here. After a little PS4 software update, this pops up on your screen, and it says, About party safety, we want PlayStation Network to be fun for everyone, which is why we have a community code of conduct. Please be aware that the voice chats and parties may be recorded and sent to us by other users. By part... By participating in voice chats, you agree to your voice being recorded. When behaviors that violate the community code of conduct are reported, PlayStation safely will review reports and check there have been genuine violations. These recordings are used only for the safety and moderation purposes of PlayStation safety. And pretty much right away, everyone on the face of the earth went, Oh, hell no! How dare you! But it doesn't end there, ladies and gentlemen, because why would it? It never fucking does. And we're going to be taking a quick look at a little article by Polygon. As terrible as they are, at least they sometimes post stuff like this that is useful for the purpose of what I do. Let me get out my games journalist points. Sony has published new details. Okay, I'm annoying myself. I can't even do that. Sony has published new details about PlayStation 5's recording voice chats after the company appeared to be caught flat-footed earlier this week when it released the latest PlayStation 4 system software update. And you just got wind of this feature unexpectedly. Okay, here it is. Here's the direct quote that is everything you need to know. We didn't clearly communicate this feature or explain why we were introducing it, and we apologize for that. Katherine Jensen, Sony Interactive Entertainment's Vice President of Global Consumer Experience. That was in a blog post this past Friday. And that's all I need. That's all Magna Martell needs to say you knew exactly what you were doing, Sony. This isn't something that you just pretend doesn't exist until it happens. You just didn't want people to freak out, and you hoped it would slip by, for the most part, completely unnoticed. Nice fucking try. So pretty much the entirety of the internet has gone, so basically what you're saying is if I'm in a party with my friends talking and joking around and making off-color jokes, then I can be punished for it, is what you're telling me. Now the article goes on to explain how to record the audio and how you can submit it to Sony, and that doesn't really matter at, at all, really. It doesn't, it's not relevant, not in the slightest. But pretty much everybody's biggest concern with this is, so what you're saying is that if I'm hanging out with my friends and someone else joins and we're sitting there talking and joking around and just having a good time, and they record and submit what we say, we might be banned. And nobody's okay with that. Par I mean, I live stream a lot of the party chats that my friends and I do, and I leave it up to them whether they include their audio or not. But a lot of the fucking time, we say some shit, especially when the camera is not rolling, that Sony would be like, ah, we gotta get rid of them! You know? I mean, I hang out with a guy who... He, he makes black jokes like twice a day. And, you know, sometimes they're not very funny. Sometimes they're fucking hilarious. If they heard the way I talk when I'm pissed off, because I'm getting my ass handed to me in a fucking game, I'd get struck down in an instant. My biggest concern, and is something that a lot of people are also concerned with, is that this is how it starts. It starts with a private company going, oh, we're just trying to enforce the rules better, and it turns into, the Ministry of Truth has determined that you have been saying things on the internet that we don't agree with, and therefore, you must be banned from everything and completely blacklisted. Now you're going to federal prison. You think I'm fucking joking? That is the slippery slope. It always starts as, let's get rid of racism and sexism in video games, and it ends with, we have a guy at a bar making a black joke, 10.15 in progress, 10.15 in progress, go make a rest of them. That's where we're going, and that's exactly what they want. And of course, that brings us back to the Sony policy. I've heard some people try to justify it already, saying, Oh, well, at least now there won't be any racist 12-year-olds saying shit in lobbies or in party. Here's the thing. Part of the point of parties is to get rid of those people. I mean, I don't know how PlayStation parties work, but I imagine they work pretty much the same as they do on Xbox. And on Xbox, oh, excuse me, oh, excuse me, I just got out of bed like 45 minutes ago. This night job is killing me. Um, and on Xbox, we have the ability for the person who made the party and has the controls on them to, you know, kick people out. 
Somebody we don't want comes in, we either kick them out or we all just make a new one and make it invite only. It's not that fucking hard. There's no reason, no reason whatsoever for this to be a thing. And you know it's going to be used to troll. We all have those moments where we're in a lobby and we're playing a video game and we get an invite from somebody on the enemy team. And they trash us. They start talking shit and then they get butt hurt when you say something back. That's how that's going to be used. It's going to be used to bait people. And it's not fucking okay. You don't fucking bait people like that. Because the moment somebody baits you, and you go in here and you tell them to go fuck themselves, that you just won and that's all there is to it, you're going to get fucking banned. Because you know it's going to come down to, you're not even going to be allowed to say fuck for long. This is blatant and obvious authoritarianism. Nothing else. There is nothing else this could possibly fucking be besides it's more canceling. It's more fucking cancel culture. It's more... Tr or trying to fucking restrict gamers in what we do. Despite what the social justice warriors on Twitter would have you believe, gamers are not bad people. We're not a bunch of sexist, racist, homophobic, whatever fucking word you want to use. And you know, that's another thing. Sometimes The world makes fun of people, okay? If I want to make fun of my black friend for not having a job and say that he's a stereotype, he's going to fucking laugh because I know him and he's a fucking cool dude who will make that joke himself if you don't beat him to it. Seriously, I need to start bringing Chris on the show, because he, he is with me on this stuff. But it's going to get to the point where you can't even do that. Gamers are not fucking sexist and racist and homophobic and haters. I mean, would you, you people wouldn't survive a fucking Modern Warfare 2 lobby back in 2008. I'm not sorry, you fucking wouldn't. You're a bunch of fucking pussies these days. You can't handle anything. You can't even handle the idea that someone might think differently than you without getting butt hurt. And you know what, Sony? I was already going to shoot for buying an Xbox Series X in the next year or two, and I wasn't going to fucking shoot for a PS5 until the price was dropped super low, because that's what I do every year. I might have started my gaming life on the PlayStation, but I moved. And I'm in the process of putting money back to put myself together a nice, decent PC. Another paycheck or two, and I'll finally have that money. And you know what? All this is telling me is you don't respect my privacy as your customer enough to to fucking buy your product. If you're not going to respect me, I'm not going to buy your shit. I'll skip the PS5. I don't care if your exclusives are good. I don't care how good they are. I'm already not buying God of War Ragnarok because you put fucking Cliff Bozinski in charge. Fuck him. And fuck you too for putting him in charge. And you know what, Microsoft, you've been making the good plays so far this time. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, don't start adopting this policy. Don't start doing what Sony does, because you will lose me real fucking quick. You will. I don't fucking care. I will up and leave. I will take my fucking Xbox and I will sell it. And that's another thing, people. You know, to all you idiots out there who are breaking your PlayStations and your Xboxes every time they do something stupid, quit doing that. They've already got your money. Just go fucking sell it. For what you can get out of it. Go fucking trade it in. Use that money to d get something else. It's just a waste. You fucking idiots. Ladies and gentlemen, freedom of speech is under attack. Here in the United States. Here in the world we live in today. Everything is a constant bide against the individual and our ability to speak freely. Which is a value that here in the United States of America, a country of which I am proud to be a resident is something that we value here so much that it is literally our first fucking law! And I'll be damned if I'm going to let any fucking Silicon Valley soy boy cocksucker at Sony Interactive take that away from me! I will march up to those doors, double barrel in hand, and I will rip and tear if it comes down to it, goddammit, because that's what the Founding Fathers intended! But you know what? I will not support this policy. I will not go, well, maybe there will be some benefits. No. This comes down to authoritative control and nothing else. And I personally won't have it. Thank you. Good day, sir. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Magna Martell. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.